guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video is a bit of a last minute video that I really wasn't planning on recording, but I have to record it because I'm sending out a package to my sis. You guys know who she is, Stephanie from Quilting Beauty and Books. And before I send that package out, I wanted to do this haul. So this is my February, yes, my February book haul. So, um, not a lot. Okay, look, I have a lot of books, um, but most of them are going to be middle grade fantasies, which will be on my other channel. So I don't know when that video will go up, but I have like a stack of books, just, yeah. But I have a few that are, of course, Christian related that were sent to me, and I think I purchased one of these books and then my sister gave me another book but the rest of them were all sent to me for review of course but um uh, yeah i have my my drink for the day um you guys know i've been loving the maxwell vanilla caramel lattes that's been good um i just ha i haven't had my coffee in a couple days just haven't been filling it and my pumpkin spice tea i've been saving for the evenings for some reason so yeah but i still do have my pumpkin spice tea but i want to come on the channel with other drinks outside of that because I always have a cup of that. So, yeah, I'm just using this mug with the letter S on it from, I think I got some Marshalls. I think I did. So, yeah. Alright, so, if I fly through this video, I apologize. But, like I said, really didn't want to make this video today, but I have to in order to ship out this package. So, I'm going to start off with the first item here. Which is this Bible that I need to do a Bible review on. And I'm going to let you guys know now. This Bible I'm not keeping. I will be giving this Bible away. As much as I really want to keep it. Um, I feel like it would benefit someone else. So I'm not going to keep it. It was sent to me for a review from Crossway of course. But um, yeah. So it's the ESV um, Bible with Creeds and Confessions. This is in the gorgeous True Tone Black. So this baby is. It is gorgeous, you guys. Like, I want this size Bible for when I go out to preach. And I'm still looking for, like, a specific preaching Bible. But this is exactly what I want in my preaching Bible. It has to be a New King James. It has to have the gold foiled edges. Two bookmarks, of course. And be, like, this nice feel. It just, it feels luxurious. Okay? This Bible retails for 50 bucks, But I'm sure you can get it cheaper on, like, Amazon or ChristianBook.com. Um, but yes, I haven't done the review on this yet, so that's coming, but I will be passing this Bible along because I don't believe in creeds and confessions. Um, I'm Christian non-denominational, so I feel like those are more prominent with people who are Baptist or Catholic or Pentecostal and stuff like that. Or I really don't know, but, um, yeah, I'm not into those, so yeah, it, it includes a bunch of them on the back. They name a few of them, but this box is just gorgeous, and as much as I wanted to keep this... One, I own too many Bibles already, and two, I just know there's no purpose in me keeping this if it's strictly just an ESV Bible. Um, I have a lot of ESV Bibles already, so I will be doing a giveaway for this probably when I hit 3,000 because I'm literally almost at 3,000, which I thank you guys so much. I am currently at 2,840 subscribers, I think, and I literally was just like at 2,700, like... Wow, that's all I can say. But when I hit 3,000, I will be doing a giveaway for this. I also have two other Bibles that I will be giving away as well. So stay on the lookout for that. But we have this Bible here. Um, and then we're going to get into the books. Because <laughs> we know I like books. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I have a book problem. Yeah, I like books. Um, book Books are life. Books are everything. If, you, if, if, you, if you've been following me for the past two and a half years, you already know. Um, you guys have seen a glimpse of all of my bookshelves. My bookshelves are ridiculous. But um, yeah, so we're going to start off with this first book that my sister actually gave me. So I think what happened was, um, I, I, meant, I think I mentioned it before, how my local library has two large book sales every year. They have a spring one, which this year it'd be in May. And then they have one in, I think, October, which is their fall. And I think my mom picked this book up. But she probably thought it was a children's book because of the image on the cover. So when I went to my sister's room, we were talking about books. She pulled it out, and then I looked at it. And I said, "This is not, and it's, this is not a kids' book. This is a Bible study book for adults." And she was like, "Okay, just take it." So my mother probably paid for this book, but my sister gave it to me. So yeah, it's called "Just a Sister Away" by Renita J. Weems. I think that's how you say it, Weems. It's understanding the timeless connection between women of today and women in the Bible. So this is literally 
kind of like a devotional style Bible study. Um, there are readings, of course, but then there are also questions to answer. So she goes through a few women in the Bible. Hagar, Sarah, the daughters of Zelophed. Oh, I just actually read them about them in, I think it was Numbers. I just finished reading, so I read about them. Um, Vashti and Esther, we know who they are um you know there are other people mentioned in here i don't i don't really know if she has like them written out yeah naomi and ruth martha and mary the morning woman Miriam and her Cush cushite sister-in-law which is basically moses's wife um woman who followed jesus elizabeth and mary lot's wife and her daughters uh the gospel of mary queen sheba and other people are included in this so yeah this just came into my collection. I probably should give it to see if my mother did pay for this. Because I, I think she paid for it and really did think it was a children's book. Because the cover kind of sort of makes it look like a children's book. But it's in my library now. So yeah. The next book I have is one I picked up. Because you guys know that me and Steph do buddy reads every month. We've been doing it now since last year. <laughs> I don't even know how many books we buddy read. But we just finished reading, I think it was Living Lies by Natalie Walters. Um, I mentioned in one of my other wrap-ups that I had read her second book, which was Deadly Deceit, and it was a romantic Christian suspense, and I really actually enjoyed it. And you guys know I'm trying to get into more of the romantic suspense genre. I'm trying to branch out. So we read that and enjoyed it. So we were trying to figure out what to read for um, March, um, and we went with this book. I didn't have this book, and literally the day before we text each other, I was saying I wanted this book. And um, she mentioned it, and I said, you know what? Let me go get this book. I was going to go for thrift books, but I feel like if I have to pay over $4 for a book on thrift books, I might as well just go to Amazon. And if it's expensive on Amazon, I might as well just go to Barnes & Nobles. So I did go to Barnes & Nobles. Um, my mom and I went, and I snagged up this book. And I'm happy that I own it because I have the other version of this as well. So I have Sons of Encouragement by Francine Rivers. If you guys don't know who she is, she is the author of Redeeming Love, Love, her writing so much redeeming love is a historical fiction retelling of hosea and gomer the prophet hosea if you guys don't know um but yes this is on five um they're well known but not really mentioned men of the bible so you have aaron who's the priest we all know moses brother that dude um caleb the warrior we know about him from when him and joshua went to go you know look at the promised land dumb people um jonathan the prince who is the son of saul we know who king saul is amos the prophet i've heard about amos i have not studied amos at all and then silas the scribe who i've heard of but never really ventured into learning more about so um yeah there are five stories so basically it's the bind up of her five novels in here and what i love is that there are seek and find sections where um she tells you to go look into your bible yourself and there are questions so this is definitely going to be like a month long reading because this is a tome if you guys don't know what a tome is a tome is a book over 500 pages this book is a total of 690 something pages yeah, I'm, I'm looking. It's 695 pages. So this is definitely going to be like a month long reading for us, maybe even a month and a half. <sighs> yeah, so I got this and I can't wait to dive into this and read it and annotate it. And yeah. Okay, so the next two books are actually the same book. I got this book from the publishing company. They sent it to me twice, which I know why they sent it to me twice because I signed up for two different tours. I signed up for an Instagram tour and a blog tour with two different companies. So I was sent two copies of this book which is totally fine because I'm going to send a copy to my sis, of course, so we can buddy read this as well. But um, it's Colleen Cobble's One Little Lie. It's the first book in her Pelican Harbor series. This is the, this is a romantic suspense, right? Yeah, romantic suspense. Um, I have never read any of her books. I know she has thousands of books. Every time I go into any bookstore, Walgreens, Rite Aid, I see her books, but I just never care to read them because, again, I wasn't into the romantic suspense genre. You guys know I was not, an, I wasn't really into thrillers and mysteries and suspense novels, but I'm finding that I'm really enjoying it within the Christian genre. So I have two copies of it. They're both art copies, um, if you guys can see the logo for the arts. They come out on March 3rd, um, so I'm going to keep a copy for myself and send one over to my sister Stephanie so that we can buddy read this book. But yeah, we have that. Moving on, I am going to fly ahead to the books that I got that are like some books that I have like been highly anticipating. And I can't remember if I hold this book or not. But I'm going to haul it again anyway. And it's, of course, Daughter of Rome by Miss Tessa Abshaw. You guys know my feels about this book. 
Um, I loved it. I have a reading vlog up, and I also have a book look makeup tutorial that a lot of you guys have actually been enjoying, so I will have more of those videos coming soon. But, you guys know, like... It's a 5 star, but I gave it a 4.75 star rating because I was being extra critical and I went into this with like super, super high expectations because she is literally my favorite biblical fiction author. But this is also going to be the spring pick for the Biblical Fiction Buffs book club that I joined that Genevieve Marek had created. I didn't mention it twice before. Um, we had our fall reading, which was A Light on the Hill, and then we had just finished our winter reading, which was The End of the Magi. So this book we start on March 1st. It goes from March, April, into May, and I'm excited to actually reread it with the physical form because the first time I read it, I read the e-arc, of course, and I feel like if I read the physical form, um, it'll give me a different experience because, um... You know, yeah. So I also, with this, got a book. I got several of these bookmarks, so I will be giving a lot of bookmarks away, but I laminated mine. I also got several of these book plates, but um, this one is personalized to me. And then these two are just signed. And then I also got a note from her that I'm going to keep because I love. I also got a purse, so let me grab my purse that I actually won from the giveaway. Okay, so... Because I was a part of the launch team and I also um, was able to, I guess, I made more interactive uh, promo stuff, obviously, with the uh, reading blog that I did as well as the book look make tutorial. I ended up winning the giveaway for her launch team and in the launch team I got, like I said, this note card. I got two book plates, one signed, one personalized with more bookmarks and then... I got this bag, you guys. She sent me this bag, and I just, I love it. I actually use it on Sunday, which, you know, this type of bag is everything and more to me. I need to take that tissue out. <laughs> but I have been using this bag now recently, and I love this bag so much. It's big enough to keep everything that I need in it, and it's really sleek and cute. And I think what I love the most is that it matches the book cover. Call me crazy. But, um, do y'all see that? that that's a match. I, I don't care. So, again, Tessa, thank you so much for this bag. It is definitely well-loved. I've used it already. And I, I, I definitely want to know where she got this bag from so I can get it in another color because I kind of like this bag. Um, I would love it in gray and black. But, yeah, so it's like this. The back has a pocket on the back. And um, on the inside, it's split into sections and whatnot. If you guys ever want to see, like, a what's in my bag or what I take to church on Sunday type of video, let me know. I used to make those type of videos on my beauty channel. You guys know I ain't been on that channel in, like, years, so, yeah. But, um, I wanted to share that because that's a, a haul because I got it from Tessa for Daughter of Rome. But, yeah. Um, the book plate I am going to be sticking in to my actual book. I just don't know where to stick it at, but, yeah, we have that. Um, so let's move on to the next item. Alright, so following that, another anticipated release, because you guys know how I feel about these anticipated releases. <laughs> like Flames in the Night. By Connie Lincoln said the fourth and final book in one of my favorite, favorite biblical fiction series ever, Cities of Refuge. I read it. I gave it a five stars. It has been three days since I read this book, you guys, as I'm recording this. And I still have yet to sit down and actually gather my thoughts to write my review. Um, this left me satisfied. It... It really just bought all three of the books, including Wings of the Wind, which is from her Out From Egypt series. It really just bought all those books together, matched so well. Like, five books ending perfectly in this one book. Um, this follows the youngest daughter, Terza, as well as Liam, who is the son of some of my favorite characters from Wings of the Wind. And it was beautiful. Beautiful. So, I also got a bookmark for that, so I laminated my bookmark. And I got a book plate that is signed from Connie. So, I have to find out when Tessa and Connie are, like, in the tri-state area so that I can visit and have my book signed. Because their books are books that will definitely stay in my collection for a long, long time. Like, a long time. I love them. So, we have that. And, of course, keeping up with the themes of, um, releases that I'm, like, excited for. Now, I know this comes out in March. I don't know if it's March 3rd or if it's, like, 
sometime in March. So I'll put on the screen the correct release date because I really don't know <laughs> the actual release date. But I did get this for a blog tour from Rebel and I'm so excited because I really, really wanted to read this after reading her um, The Heart of a King book. So we have a Star of Persia from Miss Jill Eileen Smith. And I was around for her cover release for this and I did a cover release on my blog. This cover is stunning. I've said this before in other videos. I feel like when it comes to putting people on book covers, biblical fiction, they always do an excellent job. Christian fiction in general does an excellent job of utilizing real people on covers. Because I know when I read my secular books and they have humans on the covers, sometimes it looks a little ratchet, a little raunchy, but Christian fiction, for some reason, they, they know how to get the angles, they know how to put them onto the covers with the pretty back. I don't know. Maybe you, you disagree, but I, I, that's how I feel. Do you guys feel the same way? But, um, yes. I I really just am obsessed with the background, with the sky view. Oh, gorgeous. And even in the back, her dress. Y'all definitely can expect, expect a purple and gold makeup tutorial coming on this. I still have to do Delilah. I know. It's coming. Patience. <laughs> but, um, yes, this is the story of Esther, pretty much. I'm not going to read the synopsis. I have quite a few books I want to get through. So it's the story of Esther. We know who Esther is. If you don't know who Esther is, read the book of Esther in the Bible. <laughs> um, I also did do a Bible study on the book of Esther. I will be redoing Bible studies for Esther and Ruth um, as well as Jonah. I know we still need to get to John. Don't kill me. A lot of you have been like messaging me, emailing me, like coming down my street about it. I know it's coming. <laughs> It's coming. John is John is coming back, okay? Just 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 watch John one through five to to you know give you some yeah. Mm hmm Star of Persia. Okay, let's move on. This next one I was also sent for review. This is from Bethany House. Um this is actually book two in a series. Um it's called The Bride Ship. It is called The Runaway Bride by Jody Hell Headlong Head Headlone, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, I know that she has some historical fictions, novels that I really want to write, um, not write, <laughs> read, because they're sort of espionage style. Um, and I figured I would give this a go. It's historical romance. You guys know, along with mystery thrillers and suspenses, I don't do historical. But again, I've found that I've been enjoying some historical romances. This one is set in what year? Let's see. I love that she has a scripture at the beginning of her book. So this is for Deuteronomy. That is gorgeous. This is set in 1862, um, Vancouver Island. The thing about it is, I like books set in the 1900s. The late 1800s, perhaps. But I'm more of a 1900s type of person. So I hope this is good. The one thing I will say that I need authors to do is pick a new name for female characters. I kid you not, I feel like I've read three books with the name Arabelle or Arabella. And this is another book. Why? Is Arabelle or was Arabella like a popular name back in the 18, 1900s? Like it's it's annoying to read because then I get confused with books. I'm going to start getting confused with the books that I read because the characters literally have the same first name. But yeah, um, it just says haunted by mistakes in her past. Will she ever again trust her heart to another? Um, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, she has two love interests. This takes place around the smallpox. It has some nat natives inside of it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all that I know. And that's all I want to know going into this. I don't want to know too much. You guys know, like I said, how I feel about historical romances. So, I'm going to go into this pretty blind. I know that there is Arabella. There are two guys that are interested in her. She ran away from home because of something that happened. And the location that she now moves to, she, like I said, has two suitors. One is Peter and the other one is who? Richard? Peter and Richard. And it's something about natives and a smallpox breakout. That's all I'm going to keep at. I don't, I don't even want to read the entire back. So, this cover, though, is gorgeous. And I kid you not, when I got this book, I thought it was wet. <laughs> I thought my book was wet because I don't know if you guys were able to see at the bottom how it shines. I didn't realize that. So when I went to wipe it, I was confused. And then I realized that it's the design because even on the top, it's like that. So, 
yeah. All right, so the next book I have is an ARC, um, and I'm actually I actually have to read both books, books one and two. But I won a copy of book two. They were sending out ARCs for either book one or book two. I got selected for book two, so it's a part of the Wing Feather Saga from Andrew Peterson. Um, it's North or Be Eaten. This is book two. Book one, I don't remember the name. I'll put the cover here. I do have the ARC for both books, so I do have to read this. Um, this is actually a series that has been out for a long time, but if I'm not mistaken, they're republishing them with these new covers. Um, and I like the new covers. They're gorgeous. They're more middle grade fantasy novels. I don't know if it's a middle grade or... I'm going to say middle grade YA fantasy novels. Um, Christian based, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it follows three brothers and a sister. One of the brothers, I believe, has a disability. Or is it one of the sisters that has a disability? One of the children has a disability. And there's fantasy and magic and evil fangs of dangs and um yeah that's literally what the evil person's name is fangs of dang I, I don't know um you have ice prairies yeah it sounds interesting and um there are pictures um i like <laughs> ya and middle grade books with pictures i think it's fun um and i'm excited to dive into this i've never read it oh he looks like zoro he reminds me of zoro he's giving me zoro vibes but, um, yeah, I'm excited to dive into this and read it. So, I obviously have to read book one first. Um, there are also, like, these little pages where they talk about the different animals, which I think is awesome. So, if I enjoy this, I will most likely pick up the actual series with the new covers, of course. Because I kind of like the new covers. They're really pretty. But we have that. Okay, and then we get into the books that I got from the Delilah box. So, the first item I want to share with you guys is this bookmark that I got from the Delilah box. And I did laminate mine, like I said I was going to do. Um, it didn't laminate all the way, obviously. You guys can tell. It's coming apart. So, I'm going to have to re-laminate it again and seal it. But, um, yeah, I laminated it. It's gorgeous. Um, on top of that, I got this nonfiction on Molly Bruno. It's called The Audacious Molly Bruno. In short... If you have seen War Room and you know the woman that plays Miss Clara, this is basically the inspiration in the real Miss Clara. So, that's all I'm going to say. It literally says, um, Molly Bruno is the real modern day Miss Clara. There we go. And here, I don't know if this is Alex or Stephen Kendrick. It's one of the Kendrick brothers and her. So, um, I'm excited. I really loved, um, the character of Miss Clara in the movie. And it was phenomenal. So, I'm excited to actually have this book based on the real woman who inspired miss clara so we have that then i have a historical fiction romance this is book three in the ladies of summer hill by carl lynn james it's called love by the book this takes place in 1901 rhode island yes and i used to live in rhode island i went to school out there and um i enjoyed the place of rhode island rhode island excuse me so um yeah i don't know anything about this it was in a box and it sounds like it's gonna be fun and cute the main character's name is melinda so thank you for having a new person's name because i'm i'm sick of arabelle and arabella but yeah we have this book the other book i got in my delilah box is the shelter of the most high i already read it i will be passing this book along to one of my sisters at church so yeah I read this book already, so, you know, it's a five-star read, though, of course, because it's book two in the Cities of Refuge. It follows um, Derek and Mariah's son, Etienne, and includes all their other children, of course. So, we have this beauty, read my copy, love my copy. We're not going to stay on this book any longer. Moving on, I have some books from Baker Books. Um, so, this first one is Thinking Like a Boss from Kate Corico. Cor cor I, um, I, don't, I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This was a cover by. Cover request, excuse me, because they sent this to me for review via email. And um, they basically had a list of books. And I requested this because of the cover. I'm not even gonna lie. Cover request. Um, but it says, uncover and overcome the lies holding you back from success. And um, yeah, that that's cover request. I, I have nothing else to say. That's the only reason why. Oh, but it has questions. And you guys know how I feel about my interactive books, right? So this is interactive. Didn't know that. Um, there's questions and space to write. So hopefully I like it. Hopefully. So we have this. Next, I have another Sheila Walsh book. I have one from her um, that is It's Okay Not To Be Okay. I think it's what it's called. I haven't read it yet. But um, I wanted to get this one. I don't know. There's something about her covers and how real they are and raw and how i feel like she really expresses her emotion on her covers sounds weird but um it's called praying woman how to pray when you don't know what to say you guys know i'm on a prayer kick 
Um, I just finished up my prayer wall. I still have to finish writing a few of the prayers out, but all of my images, all of my cards are up there on the wall already. But, um, yeah, we have this book. And, um, again, this was also a cover request because the cover is cute. But, um, I wanted to see what her thoughts are on prayer, so I had that. The next book is more of a reference resource book. And you guys know how I feel. This is also has maps in it. You guys know how I feel about my maps, right? Okay. So this is the Basic Bible Atlas from John A. Beck. I actually enjoy John A. Beck. I have a DVD from him. I have two DVDs from him and a book, um, as well as some ebooks from him that I haven't read yet, of course. But all of his books seem to focus on the land of by the lands of the Bible time. So I definitely wanted to request this atlas from them. Um and it's basically literally just maps, time and um not timelines, it's just maps. So you get things from Eden to Egypt, um, places like Jerusalem. So we just maps a few timelines throughout, um, focusing on the land of the Bible, which I'm here for. So this is like the major cities and towns of Israel. And this is going to come in handy to go with my um, Rose Bible Charts and Maps book, um, Old Testament, New Testament Regions. I love using these when I'm like reading my books because sometimes I'm reading books and I'm just like, well, what was this place? Or they mention a, lo a location and I don't have a map that really shows it in depth. So this is literally just maps of locations. Here's Herod's kingdom. Um, what else is there? Jesus in Jerusalem. I like pictures like this. I love my archaeological Bible just because it has, like, images. Here's Jesus after the resurrection, the land and stuff. Like, we love it. We love it. Here's Paul's first and second missionary trips. So I just, I'm, I'm glad that I have this and I can't wait to utilize this in my next coming studies as well as when I'm reading my next few books. So we have that. The last two books, prayerfully, I may have books that come today because today it's the 28th. So I have the 28th and the 29th left. Um, so I may have books that come in the mail. So if they do come, I'll probably insert clips. Um, but if not, then I'll probably just show them in March book haul. But the last two books are from B&H Books. You guys know that I'm part of their blogging program. So this year, this month, excuse me, I picked out two books. This one for my son. Um, this is Jill Roman Lord's The Quiet Crazy Easter Day. She also had The Silent Noisy Night, which my son did read and enjoyed that. So I figured I would get the Easter one. It just makes sense. Why not have the whole set? Um, but yeah. And I just love how fun and quirky and, like, easy it is for him to read and point out the animals. And the pictures are not bad either. Um, so, yeah. That peacock is gorgeous, though. Gorgeous. Um, I wonder if there are other ones for, like, all the other holidays and stuff like that. But, yeah. It looks fun. So, we have that. And then, for myself, which I probably should have started this, like, weeks ago. I didn't start it yet. I'm going to save it for next year. Okay, next year. But um, it's Journey to the Cross, 40 Days to Prepare Your Heart for Easter from the Encourage community. We all know about Encourage. Um, if you don't know, I'll leave their website down below. But um, this is their book. It's basically uh, preparing for um, the season of Lent, or it's to be used during the season of Lent, rather. Um, and it's a, a devotional. But the way they have it set up is, okay. So you have your Lent calendar here, right? Um, then you get your devotion, you then get reflection questions, I'm trying to find it. I love the images as well, the calligraphy, um, but you get questions to consider, so questions you can answer, you then get like a reflection day, I think there's also like a prayer day as well in here, I just need to figure out where. Some are straight up scriptures, like so for day four you have uh, Psalm 98 that you read through day five goes back to devotion one of these days you have like straight prayer i don't know which one it is though okay so like day 20 is just a prayer that you read so i think that's awesome that this alternates between having a devotional doing reflections doing a prayer or reading specific scripture and um you know answering questions so i think this is really great it does come with a bookmark uh yeah i didn't take my bookmark out bad me I can get the bookmark. So it's a green bookmark. Really nice. Um, I think it's a nice journal. I ended up getting two for me. One, two. One for me and then one for my mom. But we have that. But overall, that is it for my book haul. 
not a lot of books uh most of these obviously were sent to me you guys know i do work with different publishing companies and blog tours for review um and if you guys are interested in any of those links will be down below for all of them for rebel for baker books for chosen for any of the blog tour companies that i join or whatever all that is down below um and pretty much you really just need to have a blog or some type of social media um, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about starting, um, YouTube channels and blogs and all that. So I'm going to have that series starting over the summer for you guys. But that is it for this video. That is my haul. I want to get these books away. <sighs> yeah. Oh, and my bookshelf tour will be coming soon. It's most likely going to be a three-part video. So as I was saying, I'm going to split my bookshelf tour into three videos instead of just squeezing it into one video and having it be like three hours long. Not going to happen. So the first shelf that I go, I'm going to show you guys is going to be my biblical fiction bookshelf, which is the one that I keep by my bed. And then I will go into the other bookshelf that has my Christian fiction as well as my TBR and resources and Bibles. And then the final video will be all the other books that I have that are nonfiction that I will eventually get to somewhere down the line. Yeah, but um, that's how that's going to happen. So be on the lookout over the next two months. All this stuff is going to start rolling out. Okay, rolling out. As far as the Gospel of John, I know I said I wanted to start this month, which was February. Didn't happen that way. Um, The Lord has been dealing with me on not doing so much. You guys know about um everything that's been going on with me. And I feel like... God is telling me to do certain things, but I'm just moving a little too quick, or I'm trying to do things back to back, and it just, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, and I've been a lot more active. You guys know that I joined um, the praise and worship team at church. I'm active on the dance ministry. I am now the um, assistant for the dance ministry, and um, I also have been dealing with the administrative team a lot because we are moving, our church is moving to a new location. So things have been a little bit crazy for me, um, and I also just have been slacking, honestly, with my Bible study. I'm about to be going, I'm not going front. You guys know I try to be transparent as possible. I have been, like, slacking OD on Bible study. Um, I have not studied Psalms in a minute. I'm still in Mark. <laughs> yeah, I stopped Joshua. It hasn't happened. Um, so I am going to take some, like a week in prayer and figure out what the Lord wants me to do. Because I know that he wants me to do the, the Bible studies, of course, and things like that. But trying to do all that, then do the videos and then have the Bible study notes for you guys and then do my regular videos and then do my administrative duties and then do my mommy duties and then do the chores. It's it's a lot. Um and as much as I try to cram everything into a day, it it, it does like it, it doesn't work that way. So book club is still gonna continue the way it is. We're supposed to start book club in March. We're gonna be reading um The Pharaoh's Daughter by Misu Andrew. So that information will be posted really soon. But um that's about it for this. Expect a reading blog on tuesday yes i have a reading block tuesday and most likely i have another reading blog coming for next saturday as well so there will most likely be two reading blogs next week yay for reading but um that's it um i'm going in this video here it's, it's 34 minutes um hopefully i can edit this video down probably not um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video if you are not subscribed subscribe to the channel become a daughter of increase if you are a man become a son of increase and if you are subscribed to the channel click the bell to stay notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye